Okay, Peter, are you ready to shoot this scene? I mean, I guess so. I hope so. All right, so let's get in place, team. Let's roll cameras and action. I can't believe that all this happened in the past few years. I mean, I was a common fisherman until Jesus called me to follow him. Ever since then, it's been a journey of learning and growing. I mean, I've seen miracle after miracle, things that people would have dreamt to have seen happening right in front of my very eyes. You see, Jesus wasn't just a teacher to me. I got to know him as a close personal friend. But now, I don't even know what to do. You see, things happen just like he said they would. When the pressure came on, I turned my back on the person I cared so much about. I was hiding out, waiting to see what would happen when I denied that I even knew Jesus. Not just once, not just twice, but three times. And cut, okay. That was great, that was great. Let's take a five minute break, guys. Uh, I have some acting notes for Peter. Uh, what, what do you have for me? I felt like things were going pretty great. Yeah, uh, Peter, listen, you're doing a great job. <laughs> doing really good, you're really passionate. Um, but here's the thing, uh, it seems like you've made some changes to the script and that's not really the story line that we were thinking, so it's a little different. Uh, what do you mean? Well, Peter, you just seem a little bummed out. Um, this part of the script is an amazing part of the story. When you get to see all the things that you were a part of when you were Jesus' disciple, he took you from this ordinary life of a fisherman to an extraordinary life. And you should be full of joy because of that. So why are you so sad? Well, everything you're saying is true, but I just keep focusing on how many times I've messed up. You see, Jesus called me a rock the rock he was going to build his church on. Yeah, and that's a really big deal. You should be like a superhero or something because of that. And that is what we're looking for. I guess that's what I'm having a hard time with. A hero? Me? I mean, I ran. I hid. I denied Jesus openly. That doesn't sound very heroic to me. Peter, I can understand why you would be discouraged. That is really discouraging. But the one thing I know is that God doesn't make mistakes. He, even though we mess up, even though that we don't do what we're supposed to, He's always there to guide us and comfort us and give us wisdom and power that we need. You see, you might feel like a failure because of things you've done, but you were chosen by Jesus to be the rock and to live out this great calling that He has for your life. So even though you have this doubt, He's gonna give you everything you need to live out your God-given purpose. Now that you say that, you've made me think about things a little differently. In fact, there's one part of the story that I can't believe I left out. It's where I get all my strength and God gives me everything I need. Would you be open if I made some adjustments to the script? Of course, that actually sounds like the perfect addition to our script. All right, team, we're gonna go ahead, reset for the next take. Um, Peter and I will be right back. We're just gonna chat about some changes.